That is right, YouTube. The SS is back and it is in action, baby. This thing is driving so well. I literally just picked it up two days ago. Um, and I've been wanting to make this video for you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed uh, a little bit of driving footage. Go over why this car has been down for uh, near four months now. Um, everything that happened with it because it was a lot and it was very expensive for me. But she's running good now. It picked up power, obviously, from the blower. Um, the new intake. Honestly, my luck with this car, I've never seen it worse. I've never seen it worse, but... <laughs> Not a lot makes up for that, though. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about everything that has happened with the SS over the past four months. So to start off, you guys remember, I got the Boost District 2650 Supercharger installed while I was down at LS Fest in Vegas. That was all the way back in April. And they actually got it done really, really quick. I drove the car home on no tune, but if you remember, I, I got the car home and it had a lot of oil leaking out of the valley cover. The valve covers were leaking. There was essentially a vacuum being created inside the engine where all of the oil was being sucked and held at the top of the engine. Not good definitely scary. What it ended up being was while we were at LS Fest, they had to swap one of my valve covers in order to get the blower to seat correctly. And the one they put on was not venting properly. Um, so I took the car down from here, they retuned it. I was driving at home and the unthinkable happened. It started raining on my Mickey Thompson's and I ran into a barrier probably going about I don't know, 40 or 50 miles an hour. I hydroplaned with the Mickey Thompsons. I overcorrected on the off ramp. And uh, yeah, we smacked the wall. Here's a picture of all the damages that was done to the car. So at first glance, I was like, oh, it's not that bad. This will just be a couple thousand dollars to get fixed up, blah, blah. We'll get it fixed up quick. Um, on the way home from that, I drove it home. Right after I wrecked it, it started puffing white smoke once again. So it had to go back down to Premier. Um, and then we finally got it back and then we had to wait for parts for the body shop to fix the front end of the car While they were turning it down. They realized there was more damage on the inside of the car Aside from everything that was going on with the engine. So at this point this thing is literally just a money pit I literally can't drive it. I can't even keep the park to my house to the either at the body shop or premier It was it was a mess. It was really like I've told myself multiple times. I should have sold at the beginning of the year like I should have Putting on the supercharger was not even the main issue. It just spiraled a bunch of events that were really unfortunate and really bad. And it ended up costing me a ton of money. So fast forward three months, we get the car back from the body shop. The car put down like 790 wheel on the uh, Mickey Thompson's. Um, originally when they had a tune right before I wrecked it. And then I literally had the car back for like five minutes. It started raining. I didn't even get into it before I crashed it. Um, so I get it back after the shop looks all good whatever and then it has to go back down to premiere because um heath at premiere my tuner wants to look at the tune again because the blower was full of oil um after the whole crash incident and the whole vacuum on top of the engine the blower was completely full of oil so he wanted to get it back and retune it he took it back he took off the blower cleaned out the whole thing did an awesome awesome job retuned it <laughs> The car put down 803 rear wheel horsepower. So that is up almost exactly 65 wheel horsepower from the LSA. Now, keep in mind, we went from a 245 upper pulley to a 34. We also went from a 91 lower pulley to an 822. So we're spinning that blower significantly less. It is making way more power and it is also running so much cooler. This Boost District 2650 blower is incredible and it is capable of so much more than i'm able to give it right now in the car the car needs a fuel system right now hey like and subscribe baby hey even with the less boost that we're running through it it's still making about 65 more horsepower than it was before and it's making that power all the time because it doesn't heat soak as easy the blower is great and i can't wait to give it more boost than i have now unfortunately the car is kind of bottlenecked by the fuel system that i have in it which is the stock fuel system plus the dsx aux pump um, and methanol of course 
So 803 is where it ended at. Um, and man, was it a journey. Huge, huge shout out to Premier Performance. Once again, playing the saviors, fixing up the car. Old School Body Shop did all the body work. They were awesome to work with as well as far as getting the parts in in a timely manner and getting it installed perfectly. Um, but I think the car literally went to Premier like three or four times throughout this whole process. And you guys, I cannot tell you how awesome they are to work with. I mean, they really know their stuff and they are willing to go above and beyond to make sure that their customers are taken care of, the cars are running right. I cannot send enough love to those guys. To you, I'm drinking a Celsius tonight. He's drinking at just work. We have a car meet to go to tonight. We're meeting up with Pearly CTSV and the V-Boys. We gotta go get gas though. Got Senna seats in the 765, some Brixton Dimag carbon barrel wheels. Six five LT and the Z06 aside, this is probably one of the most disappointing meets I've ever been to in my life. I'm probably gonna leave. I'm a huge CTSV fan, dude. I really am. Well, you guys, it's the next morning. The meet really didn't last long. It started pouring rain, so we ended up just waiting it out anyways because, well, as I just explained, I already crashed my car once in the rain. Not really looking to do it again. But other than that, the car is running seriously better than it ever has before since I've owned it. It's back, baby. We have got roll races coming up. We've got another half mile event coming up, which I am super excited for. We have to beat our time from last year. If you didn't see last year's video, go check it out and see how fast we went. We're gonna beat it this year, I'm sure of it. We, we better. Thank you so much for watching. I'm glad to have the SS back again. Shout out to Boost District for the supercharger um, and for offering to help me get it situated and get it running right again. So shout out to Premier Performance as always. Those guys are absolute miracle workers and you guys already know the boys at Coatic Lab Automotive Studio here in Utah. Did a phenomenal job with the tint. Um, they've done all the work on the black wing as well. My mom's Yukon, pretty much the family vehicles, they do all of the tint, PPF, and all that on. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys on the next video.